go to former CFFC flyweight champion Santo Cortolo continuing his chase of redemption as he returns to the cage to face a talented promotional newcomer, Shamel Finley. Weight action up next. Always a fun weight class, non stop energy, and it's a big one at flyweight as well. Obviously, Santo Bertolo, a man with a lot of history here in CFFC, and we'll talk about that. But this is the bad man, Shamel Finley, comes to us as well. Listen, four, one and one, impressive record early on. He's making a CFFC debut, so we're seeing him here for the first time. Just 25 years old, fighting, by the way, for the sixth time this year. So this man is staying incredibly busy early on fighting for American top team Lima. Fought most recently in August. Battle to a draw there with Adrian Garcia. This is his sixth fight? In 2022. Wow. The man is staying busy. He suffered a loss in his debut. Then he rattled off four straight victories, including three straight knockouts, and then had to draw last time out. So he's staying busy at just 25 years old, trying to make a statement early in his career. And I like that. I mean, early on, rack it up, right? Get that experience, stay busy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, obviously he made, he made his pro debut not that long ago, so but he's getting a lot of experience in, and uh, obviously he's been successful. You know, um, there's, there's nothing wrong with getting that experience in. He's 25 years old. Um, he's got a lot of time. That's right. Use that youth to your advantage to get some bouts under. Try to move your way up the ranks. And coming and he's to got us a here. huge, huge opportunity with the uh, with the man that he's facing here to really get some momentum. Absolutely. We'll get that man walk in the cage. Allow me to demonstrate the skill of Shao Mei, the special technique of shadow boxing. <laughs> Santo Curatolo. If you've watched the CFSC, you know this man. He's got quite the history here. Former CFSC flyweight champion, six and two career record under the CFSC banner. He's six and three overall. Now listen. Santo Cortolo was on a tear. I mean, stopping everybody, knocking people out in the flyweight division, showing amazing things, got himself to Dana White Contender Series, a spot where you have been, where you know that is a make or break opportunity. Unfortunately, it didn't go his way that night. He fought a very tough place in Rodriguez, suffered a decision loss. Then he comes back to CFSC to challenge for a, a vacant uh, interim title and gets caught, gets clipped. It, gets, it was the huge favorite coming in, and he got upset. It's now two in a row. It's a big moment for him in his career. If, if it's still going to happen for him, like so many believe, with all the talent that he showed, you got to win tonight. Yeah, absolutely, man. You can't you can't afford uh, with the position that he's in. His back is against the wall. You know, this is a high pressure situation, um, just because of what you're saying. You know, being on the contender, coming back, having a loss, but then also have been a champion here that was that was dominant, that got the call. And then again, you know, he didn't get a he didn't get an easy draw going into the contender series. And I think it's a lot harder than a lot of people uh, realize. You know, you're you're not going in there and taking some fight that you get to choose. You're taking a fight that they offer you, and you're also going against another highly talented. Uh, you know, prospect. So, um, you know, guys, I think you're just going to go out to the contender because you're the favorite. You're going to win. That's not how this works. You know, you're fighting another guy that is, you know, uh, basically uh, looked for as the next up and coming thing. And unfortunately, he had a very touch, uh, tough matchup. But. Big moment here for Santo Curatolo. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape for this flyweight matchup. As you said, some impressive records, experience early. Schmel Finley a little bit taller, a little bit younger as well. Let's take it up to Dr. David Starnoff for the official introductions. Tonight, this bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the CFFC flyweight division. This bout has been brought to us by SC Arms. Now, standing to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 124.5 pounds, with a professional record of 4-1-1, one, and one, fighting for American Top Team Lima out of Lithonia, Georgia, Shamel Badman Finley! Now, standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 125.3 pounds, with a professional record of six and three, fighting for Culture Fight Club out of Staten Island, New York, Santo Corotolo. 
Referee in charge of the action once the bell rings, Dan Mergliata. Despite substantial loss of hearing in both ears, Dagestan's Asker Askroff rose to become a Deaf Olympics freestyle wrestling gold medalist and an undefeated USC flyweight contender. Witness firsthand the journey from humble beginnings to USC title hopeful as Askroff overcomes his impairment in the pursuit of a championship belt. That's USC Chronicles Quiet Strength, streaming Monday only on USC Fight Pass. Nice. Really nice opening kick. That's quick. Love the flyweight division. Because I think the obvious thing right here is to see how Kuroto uh, is able to establish his wrestling um, and seeing how, uh, you know, Finley's able to handle that. And listen, important to point out as well, Santo Kuroto among his six wins, five knockouts. Shamil Finley among his four wins, three knockouts. So these flyweights do pack some power, so the wrestling might be key as well to avoid some of that. Mm. High kick. Definitely see the... Taller fighter in Finley. As Kurtola is working on the outside. Measure, measure, measure. Hands up, chin down. Measure, measure, measure. Finley's doing a good job staying outside of that lead leg. Kurtola did kick to the body there. Had to slip out of the way. The return fire, right hand. You see the hand speed and the head movement. Kind of pawing out some combinations there and then fires the kick to the body. Most of Curatolo's opponents are going to be bigger than he is. Try to stay on the outside. I really like what I'm seeing from Finley, man. He seems very poised for someone who's only 4 1 and 1. Um, he seems a lot more mature than, uh, than I would expect him to be with a guy that only has, you know, uh, six fights. Yeah, incredibly relaxing there, right? Big kick to the body. Really nice kick. And he's quick. He's very fast. He's not really overextending. Brings his punches back. His guard's up. You can see his eyes, too. He's, he's really, really, really dialed in. Like, he's ready for it. He's looking for that overhand. He's looking for, uh, you know, the shot. You can tell he's very responsive. He's not overreacting, so. Oh, focus is there. Curatolo, a couple kicks to the leg, gets inside, wraps the body. Really nice defense. Curatolo was in on that shot. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought he had that takedown. Finley reacted to it well, and now we're backed up against the cage. Curatolo still does have the, did have the hands locked, I should say. Finley had the right hand in there to help break that apart. See him trying to dig in that underhook once again, but Curatolo slams him to the floor. Curatolo's trying to step over there, had the arm wrap, now trying to take the back. Finley just works his way back to the feet. Excellent work from the bad man. Really nice job by Finley by not overreacting, ultimately back where he wants to fight. Yeah, big takedown from Curatolo, but Finley scrambled back up with relative ease. Great awareness there. We're under two minutes. I like that Kurotolo is chopping that lead leg, you know. I would like to see him go on the inside of the thigh, too. Oh. Continues to work it, right hand up top, and then nice. string it together into the take. Beautiful. That's nice work. Kick, hands, takedown, string it all together. Beautiful. This time, Kurotolo going to try to establish the position a little better. He's inside control right now, and you can see he's really trying to hold down for a second and reset. Oh, my goodness. What happened to his calf? Oh, goodness. What is that from? Is that a previous injury? Sheesh. I don't know if I ever noticed that. That's just a scar that he has, maybe like a burn? I don't know. I never noticed that as well. That's a little freaky look. It did. It was just blinding. <laughs> Caught me on guard. <laughs> Scramble here for position. Finley trying to step back up. Ah. Oh, caught him with the right hand. Big power. Finley briefly wobbled, seems to be okay. Boy, he looked like he was hurt there for a moment, shook it off. Finley showing some yeah. resolve there to reset. Now I'm surprised Cortola didn't follow it up. Boy, I like the way he's changing levels here again. Big shot up top and then looks down for the takedown. Has that single secure, can't do anything with it though. Finley showing nice defense. He's got a good series. He's got really good chain link wrestling. He goes from one to the other to the other, so. And they're not naked shots, which is really good. It's allowing him to get in on his hips and really have a chance at getting these takedowns. 20 seconds left. 
Finley defending up against the fence. Another late take down there. You hear the clapper. Final seconds ticking off the clock. Oh, great ground and pound. Beautiful little elbows. And they're going to oh. try to sit down on this choke here in the final seconds. Can he squeeze it with time winding down? Doesn't get it done. What an excellent opening round for Santo Curatola, a, a confidence builder that I think he probably needed. Yeah, that, that, that was that was huge. He definitely rocked Finley there. He definitely shook up his arm a little bit. Great job by Curatola on those takedowns. Gets that, gets right behind. That's a really good series. Getting that body lock hand in hand. Goes immediately for the, you know, the wrist high up. Kick, punch, right into his shot. That's what's getting him so deep. Through that knee and got caught with that overhand, man. You know, that's what happens when you kind of rush in, trying to get it back. Again, another back takedown. Kurto is really good at getting, uh, getting him right to side mount with those back trips. He's really good on that body lock. Good round for Santo Kurto there, the former champ. Looking sharp against tough opposition. Yeah, he kind of, I think he kind of started a little slow, you know, getting his range, taking his time, you know, I think that's the veteran experience that he has. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, man, he, that's his round. Second round action. Grigliata pushes him back to the cage to get things started. Finley still unfazed, has that calm demeanor about him, that focus. He's rushing forward to start. Yeah, you can tell Finley wants to get him back now. He feels like he's, he's got to get it now. Yeah, he got tagged a little bit. He ended yeah. up in a submission at the end. Got four takedowns, I believe that was. Impressive. Friendly starting to chop the legs a little bit here early. Here's Corner calling for long range weapons again. Hey, good team, Bubba. Fighting. I like that he's using man. speed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, ultimately, speed is. How you're gonna get to that man first, but you know. Finley continues to use those long range weapons his corner is calling for. Kuroto is definitely powerful. He always has packed a lot of it. It's that flyaway frame. That's what got the hype around him so great. Earning him the invitation to Dana White's contender series. Fortunate result there, and fortunate setback in his return to the CFSC cage. We're trying to build once again. Oh! oh. Almost that walked into kick. that high that kick. Clean kick to his face. Instead, he drives forward, looking for this takedown. Finley, look at the excellent work on the handstand there to stay up. Wow. Kurotolo was trying to dump him on his head, just pressed down with his hands, was able to work back to his feet. Now Kurotolo, hands clasped, working the clinch from the outside. That's crazy. He ate that. Battle for position here against the cage. Wide stance for Finley. Drives in a couple short right hands. He defends against the cage. Kurotolo rips him off, tries to pull him back the other way. Can't quite do it. Finley tried to grab the neck as they hit the ground. Cortol does finally get it to the ground. Now he'll sit up in top position here. Finley kicks him away. Somebody's cut somewhere. I assume it's Cortolo from his mouth, maybe. Oh, knees that get up. Finley able to get back to the feet once again. Yeah, Cortolo's got a little bit of blood coming from his mouth. All right, no, he's got a cut above his eyebrow, too. I Man, what a way to stay poised, you know, get kicked in your face and still finish that takedown, still, you know, get to it, you know. Unbelievable. Oh, here we Just go. past the halfway mark here in round number two, the big right hand for Curatola again, but apparently fine. Yeah, I think Finley's starting to see that. Curatola looks a little bit gassed after that, man. Maybe not gassed, but definitely a little slowed down. They had a big now sequence, a lot of explosive yeah. movements. Yeah, yeah. Oh, left hand Good landed ball. for Finley. Curatola definitely hey, starting to slow down you. just a little bit. Under two minutes remaining oh. here. Oh, that was Go definitely kind of checked a little bit. There. Finley using the jab. <laughs> Chops the legs there as he's closing the distance here. Curatola back to the cage, throws a big kick to the body. And he's got him here. Now he's he got to unload. I know he's worried about that overhand, but you know, touch him. Throw that head kick. 
Starting to see the blood trickle down a little bit for Kurt Toll's left eye. This is the big shot there. Knee as Finley gets back to his feet. Hey, we got 120 left. He said blood starting to stream a little bit more from the mouth. Around that left eye as well. You can see the work that Finley's doing. I think this is Finley's round right now. Um, you know, he came out, he, made, he landed a really big, big head kick. And I know um, Kurt Toll has made it. Oh, oh the right hand sends him down. Yeah. Oh, the knee scores as well. Crotolo's hurt right now. Wobbly legs. He's trying to get away and reset. Finley patiently walking forward just under a minute, looking for the big finish. Knee up the middle, left hand lands. Oh. Patiently stalking. He's looking for that elbow, too. Oh. Crotolo swings back with the right. Stick with what you do, you know? Finley needs to just, there we go. There, oh. Elbows inside there. Working in the clinch. Can he get a knee inside? Pressing against the face. Curatolo oh. struggling right now against the cage. He had those elbows. Oh, the knee lands there as well. Another one. Ty Plum right now. Curatolo misses on a big left, nearly stumbles. Tries to fire back with the big right. Finley impressive maintaining his composure as he walks forward. You hear the clapper there. Final seconds. Watch for that head kick. Curatolo trying to survive in here. The big knee just misses. He tries for another one late. Right hand lands. And a big round there for Shamel Finley. Oh, man. That's huge. That's huge. Absolutely massive. And what's impressive is how calm he's staying in here. They said he's tired as F. And uh, I don't know that I can disagree with that. As we take a look over the corner, Santo Curatolo definitely fading there towards the end of the round. He's going to need a, uh, a second win here. I wonder if he got his jaw broken. That kick right there, man, and just timed it. He flowed. Oh. Really, really good takedown defense. He just never accepted it right there. That one, two, bang. Oh. Great job for Curatolo, though. He never, he never stopped chasing that takedown. That short little right hook, man. What you, he didn't, it's not even, didn't even look that crazy. It's just you don't see it. Good elbows. Oh, no, hold on. They're, say, they're, they're waving it off in the corner. This fight's uh, over. Curatolo wouldn't get off the stool. I heard Dan Miguelato walk over there and say, is he going to get off or not? And I think, I, honestly, John, I think he probably broke his jaw. Might be right. Oh, man. Otherwise, I don't understand where his mouth was bleeding. I mean, I, I probably cut his lip, but... Oh, man, heartbreaking setback there for Curatolo. And, yeah, we'll we'll try to find out what happened there. But that propels Finley. And, look, Finley relatively took no damage, man. You know, he got caught with a little bit of a shot. He faced some adversity. And that's great for a young, uh, young up-and-comer. But this is the game you play. You know, you take risks. He's out there. He's fighting six times a year. And, you know, this kid's built. See respect between those two there. Yeah. Devastating setback for Curatolo, but as you said, the 25-year-old Shamel Finley, the bad man, takes a step forward. And it's funny, you look, you think about these moments in fights, you know, that handstand takedown defense that he had to stay upright, how crucial did that prove into allowing him to not let Curatolo establish position, go back to the feet, do the damage, and I mean, just moments like that where you don't accept the position. You're in a terrible position. You're upside down with your hands pressed, and you're saying, I'm still not going down. You're not yeah. taking me down. Yeah, yeah, you know. It's just, uh, it's the resilience there, you know, it's the urgency. I love the respect being shown here, Shamel Finley, saying, hey, listen, you're tough as hell, man. Keep going. Absolute respect between Warriors. And here we can take a look in the corner as Dan Mirgulad eventually comes in and checks on this. Tough to see Zach trying to see what's going on. We can read lips there. That was it. Not sure if it was Santos' call himself or the corner, yeah, but. I think that was the right call. All right, let's take the Dr. David Sarnoff. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was stopped at the end of the second round. Winner by TKO out of the blue corner, Shamel the Batman Finley. Big win for Shamel Finley. The bad man looks good in his CFSC debut and hope to see more of him here in the CFSC cage. Obviously, Santo Curatolo, a former champion, a name that we've seen here a lot, heartbroken for him. But 
Listen, that's that's this game, right? I mean, new names emerge and you know, old heroes struggle at times. Shamel yeah. Finley looked fantastic tonight. Yeah, man, I mean, look, like, Finley being the up-and-comer, you know, he came out there and he really wanted it. He has a lot of reason to come back here, you know. Uh, Kuroto has, you know, his own reasons to come out here and prove himself again, but it's a lot harder when you get there and then you come back and then you lose on a regional scene and then you have to come back and fight the, the new kid now. And uh, you're not no longer the up-and-comer, you know. They look at you as the veteran and that's, you know, not, not that that's the reason, but, um, yeah, man, it's, it's a quick change of events, you know what I mean? You could be the man and you're the up-and-comer and then now you're the veteran and, you know, you're on your, your, your third loss. So Unfortunately, but it's cutthroat business. Yeah, 100%. Stay tuned. We still got plenty more action to come here at CFFC 113.